Okay. Oh! Welcome back to Cinema Rules, where we are on the quest to watch every film ever made. <laughs> Today, we are watching Robert Eggers' The Witch. Now, this came Woo! out before The Lighthouse, so if, and we actually did a reaction and a review to The Lighthouse 2019, so if you want to check that out, Go and uh, go and check that video out. Man, what a what what a lighthouse the film was. I was about to say, but what a, <laughs> what a film the lighthouse was. It was great. Yeah, it it was great, and you can definitely see his artistic flair. So I've seen this before, but if I'm on, if I'm completely honest, I probably had it on the background and wasn't really paying attention, and I don't really, I can't really remember anything. I um, haven't seen it, and I really can't wait to see him do a kind of historical. Yeah. setting with this the only thing i can really remember is just the cin cinematography yeah. it's very desaturated yeah. it's very um long lingering shots maybe uh a lot of wide shots and a lot of v very very close up so it won best director at sundance is that right it says it on the back at top i think uh does it uh yeah winner of best director at sundance so yeah so Robert Eggers, man, I'm I'm excited. I am excited, and he he is going back to uh, doing some his historical. Yeah, work. Like I think he's doing, doing a Viking. film called The Northman, and it's yeah. got the same actress that's in this film. As far as I remember, she's quite a good actress. So yeah, um, but as far as I I am aware, this just centers around one single family. Yeah, and uh, again themes of isolation yeah i'm expecting it to be isolating i'm expecting it to be atmospheric um i do want to i do want a, f a sense of horror from it though we did kind yeah. of get that in ways from um the lighthouse. the lighthouse but it was much more psychological wasn't it so. yeah more, much more subtle i think there's some themes uh, as to whether it's it's true or not so it's maybe paranoia okay but i don't know I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah. Um, uh, so I'm excited to go back into it and actually focus on it this time and actually think about it and analyse it. So, uh, and Robert Eggers, you know, he hasn't disappointed so far. Right. Cinema rules. And we are watching The Witch, a New England folk tale. Do, you, do your best witch cackle. No. No, I can't do it. <laughs> no. I can't do it. <laughs> the Witch. The v -v Witch. So they've been banished. Very early as well, isn't it? 1600, I think. 1600. Yes. Yeah. So they're banished for preaching some form of religion. Is that what? It... Yeah. That was very unnerving. <laughs> the, those are the shots that I remember from this film. Boom! <laughs> there you are. There you are. Boom! <laughs> what the hell? Samuel! <laughs> the uh, baby girl. <laughs> Strange. Oh, that's someone holding the baby with a red cloak. Is this the little red riding hood? That hand that does not look good. What? What? Oh, for God's sake. I do not remember this. Oh my God, is that... She's rubbing on herself. It's disgusting. I'm out of here. Do you assume she has been blamed then or something? Yeah. No eggs. One. Is it, is that going to be cursed as, did she drop it? Oh. Oh. I get why you think perhaps 
is it, is it a witch cursing them or not but we did genuinely see like a naked witch like yeah <laughs> curling off a baby what's the matter with thee come with her I thought she was the witch going into this but I have no idea where this straight is going straight away the, at f- all. the first girl you see already. witch she's the yeah. witch Monty Python <laughs> Who goes there? I'm in a witch of the wood. Mercy, come out. <laughs> I'm in a mercy. i be the witch of the wood. And I have come to steal you. Hear me stick a fly in through the trees. Clickety clackety. Clickety clackety. Mercy. Clickety clackety. Clickety clackety. Quiet, so now dust her on. I be a washing father's clothes like a slave. And thou art playing idle. Because mother hates you. Spoiled child. Tell mother you have left Ouch. the farm alone. I be the witch of the wood. Liar. Liar. I am. Drop thy tears and swear thy silence. I swear. You'll not tell mother nor father. I swear. Thomason, let her alone. Even as a joke, in this time, you wouldn't... You wouldn't say it as a joke because you would just... you can be accused. Yeah, you can be accused and your parents would just be like, we're going to burn you then. What is amiss in this farm? Hmm? It's not natural. We must find some light in our darkness. Tomorrow we will have a fast day, but for our sins. Oh my god. Fasting. Sarada. Why? Could be like the witch's familiar or something. I fear thou dost look too much from this affliction. We must turn our thoughts towards God, not ourselves. So much faith in God, that that's rather than themselves. We should never have left the plantation. Church. We should never have left. That damned church. There is no hither. We will not go back to that church. We will starve. Peace, peace. You wake peace. Just go back. You can't. They've been banished. Does not remember Fowler laying on the floor in the sun? You must. Nay. And where the sun would shine, would he warm himself? Rabbit. Rabbit. What is it, boy? <sighs> this rabbit with the eyes. eyes. Yeah, the eyes are just bulging out of it. Oh my God, if they lose that horse, there. Oh my God, if they oh, lose the horse, that's it. Lost the horse. <laughs> the Caleb! 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 Thomason! Shh. I couldn't do that. No. <laughs> oh, that low groaning. Was that the dog? Yeah. What did that to it? Person. 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 Bloody rabbit! Someone's gonna be like, it's not a rabbit, it's a hare! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! He's oh gonna god. die. He's gonna die. You reckon? I mean, if if they lose the horse, the dog, him, and the gun, and all of that stuff, like, they're, 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 they're blooming dead. Oh my god. Great. Oh. oh, that's the cloak that lured the that took the baby. Yeah. Oh, she's all pretty now. Who is that? Uh, he's going in. That arm. He's dead. He's dead. Oh. Oh 
probably gonna die anyway now, isn't he? I bet he's, he's possessed or something. Well, not possessed, but like. Oh, they're letting blood out of him. What else, Caleb? What else? Did Thomas make him sick in the wood? What is wrong with his kids, man? Caleb. What? Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Catch a break! Your nails! My balls! My stomach! The bitches! The scratchy! The sad! Oh! oh. I made no bargain. Thy soul belongeth to Christ. I made no bargain. The devil hath no interest in thee. I am no witch, Father. What did I but see in my house? Ask the twins then. Go on, ask them. They spend all day long babbling to that horned beast. They know well his voice. Go to. The adversary off comes in the shape of a he goat and whispers, I whispers. He is Lucifer. Get up. Rise! <laughs> So, she says it's the goat and the kids. Please, Father. No, it's not safe. Not with them. Keep me from this goat. If that old Billy be the devil, I'd have danced with him myself. No wonder people started believing in witchcraft and, and if they were isolated in these areas as well. But also, you know, magic. Are you witches? And witchcraft comes from something that you you do not understand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. you can't comprehend something. <gasps> I think she's just mad. Yeah. Flora. <gasps> Goat's dead. Oh my god, he's gonna think it's her again. <laughs> what? Oh! Oh, it's the goat! Oh, Jesus! Corruption. Thou art my father. Oh, oh. <laughs> She's dead. Oh. Where are they? No, not what I saw. Where are they? I did nothing. She came from the sky. She... No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Our whole family's dead. <laughs> oh, 
Thank God, I thought it was going to end there. Yeah, and she follows it in. Like Philip, I conjure thee to speak to me. Oh, uh, wow. What canst thou give? Wouldst thou like the taste of butter? Butter. A pretty dress. Wouldst thou like to live deliciously? Yes. That was a two footed reason. The person, yeah. Yeah. Who's that but Winder? That's the person, yeah. I cannot write my name. I will guide thy hand. Oh man, we're going all out with the supernatural. This Damn. guy. <laughs> Robert Eggers, The Witch, a New England folk. 2015, I believe. What did you think to it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I am absolutely my blown away by this film. I yeah. thought it was amazing. Yeah. I loved it. I really loved it. Did you prefer it to The Lighthouse? I did actually. Yeah. Yeah. He's obviously developed a little bit since this first film, but I still think he's really, really strong in this. Um, there are a lot of similarities. Like that ending shot that we just literally watched really reminds me of when he actually looks into the little light at the end of, of the yeah. lighthouse. Yeah, yeah. Um, but man, can I just say, this, I've only seen these two films and I think he's only done these two films, mm -hmm. but yeah. either he casts really well or he just has an insane ability to get amazing performances out of his actors. Yeah. The main two... Um, Anya Taylor-Joy and I don't know the name of the the father at, at the moment. I've seen them both before in different things. Um, I think they were both fantastic in it. I think there are a few things that make this film, in my opinion, better than The Lighthouse. Now, I think there's always a... There's, films are always subjective, aren't they? I personally like historical yeah. fiction and historical settings mm -hmm. um, just because I think it adds something to the story. Um, I just feel like this film is more natural and fluid in the way the characters act than The Lighthouse is, which is a lot more almost like fantastical in in its narrative, right? Almost yeah. like kind of a nautical tale, just like the kind of experiences that sailors have been through. But um, obviously this is supernatural, but I just feel like the dialogue as well is... Is, is natural. I love the way he uses dialogue, man. I just love the, it. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree with you. And I think for the light, I, I need to watch both of them again. I think I need to watch The Lighthouse again. Mm. But when, from the reason why I, I'm thinking it's very difficult for me is because when I was watching The Lighthouse, I was intrigued the entire time. I and, think... and I was almost yeah. awe-inspired by the directing, the, the, the style and uh, the dialogue and just the performance of... Just, I love when when a story and a, and a film can have can have just one or two characters and still be so engaging in terms this of story. This still does that, doesn't it? Though it is in that one place. I know we've got the other yeah. kids as well, but all of them are performing really well. And there's a sense for me like they're both psychological films. And yeah. maybe it's bad to compare them. Maybe we should just see this film for what it for, for itself. But they're both psychological films. They deal with. Um, isolation and claustrophobia and trauma and grief and 
guilt in different ways, don't they? I, th I, th I feel like the difference from this film to the other film uh, primarily comes from the tone. Um, you can't, you can't, you don't feel like you can compare the two because they are wildly different tones. Yeah. Um, um, this I, one's more sinister. Yeah. Um, and let's take the supernatural element of this then, because I thought at one point it was going to diverge and we wouldn't know. Mm. But at the end... It fully embraced it. It fully embraces it. And I thought there were twi I, two times I thought it was going to win. When she was sitting at the table... Yeah. And would there'd be the question then as what when she went into the shed but then when she went into the shed and I don't know whether that would have been a better place to end it just because you'd still I, I you'd think still it, have the same assumption that she she's accepted herself and accepts yeah, the devil but I agree I I think that would have been a better ending know, um, but yeah I could have taken it either way like I love films that have deeper meanings you you'll know if you've seen all these rea all the reactions that we've done like with the Seventh Seal Bicycle Thieves yeah. um, 2001 Space Odyssey, with this embracing the supernatural at the end, seeing the witches and then rising up, comparing that with the lighthouse, with the with the meaning at the end, the deeper meaning at the end with the light and what that represents, this doesn't have that, I don't think. I think it's it's face value. Do you think it's more so kind of just this is straight a witch out and in, indulgence and here this is a witch and, and there you go. Soul selling in that. <laughs> yeah, but I still think there's a message about. No. I still think there's a message about um, faith, isn't there? Like, yeah, no, no, of course. There, there are themes and there are tones still, and there is still a, a, a message running alongside those those themes and tones, but I just don't think there's a deeper... What? Yeah. Well, well, I'm not saying there isn't, just, but I, I, from what I can tell... I'm shocked. I, I, there this isn't. film has a 6.9 out of 10 on IMDb, and I'm just shocked by that. The Lighthouse yeah. has a 7.5, which I thought was amazing as well. Mm. This, I, I'm so excited to see more of this director. The, the, I just think he's incredible. I think maybe the reason why those ratings are so low, and correct me if I'm, I'm wrong if you, or if you disagree, is, was this made in 2015? Yeah. So horror, around that point, I believe, has started to, there's started to become a renaissance of, of, yeah. of, of horror. And maybe this is a new style that kind of, you know, birthed, Hereditary, Midsummer, yeah, those similar sort of things. lighthouses, those similar sort of this, tones, yeah. and maybe people just didn't take to it as as much, you know, with the slow pace. And you know, this time period isn't for everyone either. You know, yeah. the majority of horror horror fans oh wouldn't God, be this as film interested. Was shot in twenty five days, that was it. That's incredible. And it was the cinematographer stated it was mostly using natural light available. Yeah, yeah, I did think that. Um, Dialogue is based on. Right from the time. This is a piece of art, and I think thought has gone into every aspect. But are we ready to rate? Do you know what you're going to give it? Oh, this is really tricky, but let's give it a shot. All right. Let's see. It's not often that a film comes around where every part, I think, has been, craft has been crafted in a, in a, a, with care. Meticulous time, way, yeah. A meticulous work, you know. And Robert Eggers, I think, his... You know, if he if he does two more films to the same standard, he will be one of my favourite directors. I think he's great. The dialogue was written really well. The scenes were framed fantastically. Um, the narrative was engaging and tense. Um, I'm really on the fence. I know I said I, I liked it more than The Lighthouse, but we just came out of it. For now, I'm going to give it the same score, a 9 out of 10. Yeah. Um, I really, really like this film, man. Yeah. I don't know what... I, I can't express everything about it, um, but... You need to let it sit. I need to let it sit. I need to re-watch it, watch it again. Especially the end, because it came quite quite out of the blue and quite, it happened quite fast, so I yeah. need to watch that again as well. Yeah. But man, what an amazing film. Yeah. What an amazing director. I can tell this was his first film, you know? Right. Just because in terms of directing and lighting and... Uh, I don't know, just in all in all, uh, dialogue and story for me anyway. The lighthouse was a, was superior. Uh, not, I wouldn't say by a long shot, but and I, I I do like this film. I, I like the fact that it's slow paced and it's. I like that this film is short as well. I think the lighthouse could have done with with being a little bit shorter. But um, do I think it's better than Hereditary? No. Uh, but I like. I do like this film. But I'm gonna rate it a seven point nine. 
Okay. Yeah, 7.99, quite a big difference there. But I don't feel that when rating at 7.9, people might think I've un underrated it. But I don't. I I haven't. I do like this film. Um, I just. I, but I pre. I I like the directing more than the film. If that makes sense. Um, I appreciate Robert Eggers' work one on this thing, film. Yeah, than one thing the actual... I didn't say it again. I've said it when we were review, reviewing it, but one thing I wanted to reiterate again was just the performances he he yeah. gets out of his actors. And I don't know how many takes he has. I don't know how many performances he has. This was her acting debut. Was it? And That's brilliant. Joy, That's brilliant. Which is really good. Yeah, I, I love his directing. And I get what you say. The narrative's quite, can perhaps be a little bit... I, I think it's, da it's just down to personal preference yeah. in terms of like the time period, the language they yeah. use. Not that I even hate stuff, it. But even stuff, yeah, we haven't mentioned this before, have we? But even stuff like your preference of actor can Im yeah, impact yeah, of course. how you see a film. So maybe if you like that connection and relationship between, say... William Dafoe and, and Robert Pattinson, Pattinson more. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That may be a reason why. Yeah, exactly. I do, um, I do but think I, that. I'd say they're on par for me. Yeah. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe The Lighthouse is better. But it's quite memorable, isn't it? There are a few scenes here that perhaps I think aren't that, as memorable in the way that they yeah. shot. Like that yeah. ending scene where she's having that blood dripping on a yeah. POV shot as she's being strangled is a fantastic yeah, shot. Yeah, the yeah. ending is as well. Yeah. But maybe he had more time to intricately plan those shots in... The Lighthouse. The Lighthouse. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let us know what you thought, guys. Yeah, do you prefer this to The Lighthouse or do you prefer The Lighthouse to this? Um, are you with me on this court uh, or, or Tom? Um, either way, we understand each other's points and can appreciate them, uh, even if they are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said I like it equally. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, so, yeah, let us know what you think. We were quite quiet throughout this because... It was so. You yeah. It was so, you had to you had to really listen and experience it rather yeah. than react to it. So apologies if it's been a, a, a not too eventful. But um, but yeah. Make yeah. sure you subscribe. Ah. And I bought this one as well, so that's going in my on my shelf. In your now. collection, <laughs> we'll have to compare each other's collections <laughs> in a video or something. Um, but yeah. yeah, make sure you subscribe, like the video if you like to see more. And uh, make sure you hit the notification bell. Uh, and we'll see you next time in the next video. Cheers. Bye.